questioning Carlito Kilpatrick. After years of rumors and speculation, the wife of former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick is finally talking under oath about the rumored Manoogian Mansion Party and the death of dancer Tamara Green. Kilpatrick faced tough questions in Texas. Defender Kevin Dietz is live in Fort Worth. Kevin. That's right, and right now, Carlita Kilpatrick is inside this law office. She is under oath and answering questions about that rumored Manoogian Mansion party. Bernard Kilpatrick was also supposed to testify today, but he was a no-show, and now he will have to explain why to a judge. Carlita Kilpatrick with an attorney and a bodyguard at her side. It's deposition day. For the first time ever, Carlita will sit in this conference room and be asked about a wild Manoogian Mansion party and a rumored assault on exotic dancer Tamara Green. It's been eight years since this much talked about, never proven party. It's been seven and a half years since Tammy Green was killed. And one of the central figures in this crime has never, ever, ever been interviewed. Forget deposed. No one's even spoken to her about it. It's critical. Carlita Kilpatrick's attorney says she will be open and honest, but is likely to plead the fifth if questions put her or her husband, Kwame Kilpatrick, at risk legally. Uh, basically, you don't know what's going to be asked until it is, and when, it, and when she hears it, and if it's something that is off limits or that is objectionable to or that is privileged, we will respond at that time. Norman Yatuma represents the Green family. He's trying to prove her murder investigation was sabotaged to protect then-Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick's reputation. He says this day is a long time coming, and finally the Green family and all of Metro Detroit will get answers to questions that should have been asked long ago. I don't much care, frankly, if she pleads the fifth, if she pleads the sixth, if she invokes the entire Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, the Gettysburg Address, the statute of limitations, the... I don't care. She can invoke whatever she likes. The reality of it is she's going to have to give us an answer. They have two hours left of allotted time for today's deposition. If they need more time, they can go tomorrow as well. This deposition is being videotaped, but that tape and all of Carlita Kilpatrick's answers will remain a secret for a while. The judge ordering them sealed pending trial. Reporting live in Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin Dietz, Defenders. Now, Kevin, you know Norman Yatuma would like to have the same kind of opportunity with Bernard Kilpatrick. Any idea why he didn't show up today? He told uh, the court that uh, he could not afford to make the trip from Michigan to Texas, and he is asking for permission to have the deposition uh, take place in Michigan sometime possibly next week. All right. Our Kevin Dietz reporting from Texas. Now, you can keep up to date on all the developments in the Tomorrow Green case by logging on the local Ford Defenders page. It's on clickondetroit.com. Look for it under the scene on Ford page.